And we'll begin with that news that the federal government is indeed still running this morning with just over an hour to go before the deadline for government shutdown last night. That deal was finally hammered out. The Senate and the House both passed a six day spending bill so they can finalize language on the agreement that will cover the rest of this fiscal year. CBS News congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill after a very long night. Nancy, good morning to you. Good morning, Jeff. A lot of bleary eyes around here. What this means is that the nation's 4.4 million federal employees will not see a break in their pay. Republicans held out until the very last minute for the largest spending cuts they could get. And this morning, they're claiming victory. House Speaker John Boehner came out first at 10.50 p.m. to announce he had reached a deal with Senate Democrats and the president. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, uh, I'm pleased that uh, Senator Reid and I in the White House have been able to come to an agreement uh, that will in fact uh, cut spending and keep our government open. At 11 p.m., President Obama appeared at the White House to announce that the Washington Monument Take behind him and all the time, national parks would be open today government. and federal workers would get paid. This agreement between Democrats and Republicans on behalf of all Americans is on a budget that invests in our future while making the largest annual spending cut in our history. The final agreement, $38.5 billion in cuts from the 2011 budget, well more than half of the $61 billion Republicans had been seeking. Some of the cuts we agreed to will be painful. Programs people rely on will be cut back. Needed infrastructure projects will be delayed. And I would not have made these cuts in better circumstances. Republicans were not successful in their bid to defund Planned Parenthood, defund the president's health care law, and restrict the EPA. All those in favor of the bill as amended say aye. It will take several days to craft legislation that reflects the new spending deal. So right around midnight, the Senate and House passed stopgap measures to keep the government running until next Friday. It's been a grueling process. We didn't do it at this late hour for drama. We did it because it's been very hard to arrive at this point. Final passage of that short-term spending bill actually didn't come until around 12.20 a.m. in the House, so this came down to the wire and then some, Jeff. Nancy Cordes in Washington this morning. Nancy, thank you.